Today I wanted to go over my top 5 EPs of 2022. I have a video for my top 100 songs and my top 10 albums on the horizon. They will be dropping very shortly. So I wanted to give you guys my top 5 EPs in the meantime so you can have some bite sized music to listen to while you wait for those other end of the year lists. So let's go ahead and dive right into the top 5 EPs of 2022 starting with number 5. The Rotoscope EP is at number five by Spirit Box. What I liked about it is that they went into very different territory with this EP. It wasn't quite like their debuted album, Eternal Blue. It was something a little bit different. It was more industrial sounding, but it had this kind of dark CD atmosphere that I really enjoyed. And I thought the three tracks featured on this EP were some of the best music that Spirit Box has put out to date. And if this is indicative of what's to come from the band, we have a lot to look forward to because these three tracks were really good. Spirit Box really nailed tone and atmosphere on this album, combining those kind of interesting industrial elements with somewhat of like a progressive metal sound on some of the more melodic choruses, which really made for an interesting EP. Although it lacks in length at only three songs, it doesn't lack in substance. They chose three songs that hit hard. Each track is phenomenal, so they didn't waste any time with their EP, and that's why it made the end of the year list. Clocking in at number four, we have Is This What I Look Like by Yours Truly. Yours Truly is a band that I really enjoy. If you're into pop punk style music, this is definitely a band you should be listening to alongside like Loveless and other bands of that nature. Yours Truly is a really cool band. I believe they're from Sydney, Australia, and they've been putting out really good music. I really fell in love with their last album, and that's how I got into the band. So when this EP dropped, I was really excited. I didn't really have an opportunity to talk about the EP other than, I think, reacting to the lead single. So I'm glad to talk about it now, and it did live up to my expectations. This EP is cool because it's pop punk, but it also has a kind of like mainstream hard rock aesthetic on certain tracks, like uh, Walk Over My Grave, for example, is more of like a hard rock song. So I think Yours Truly is experimenting in just the right ways with this EP, kind of pushing their sounds in new directions while staying true to what we all like from them. So it is a really cool fusion of kind of pop punk and more of like a hard rock style, kind of combining those elements together to create something really new. And you have an impactful EP uh, by doing so with some really emotional songs, some really catchy and fun songs. So there's variety here. This is one of the longer EPs with uh, six full length tracks and then one kind of like interlude song. So this is an EP that you could really invest your time into. And I think you will walk away really pleasantly surprised here if you haven't heard it. Next we have the Fallback EP by Nightlife. Nightlife is a up and coming band that I think has a ton of potential. I can't wait for them to put out a full album as soon as they decide to do so. But this EP is really cool. They found a really interesting balance of creating kind of like modern rock music, but with a little bit more groove to it, a little bit more funk to it, and a little bit more soul as well. So that is something I really enjoy about this band. They're a really cool fusion of different sounds. Like it feels like they have influence from like maybe like a little bit of pop punk, a little bit of metalcore, a little bit of like dance music, electronic music, a little bit of soul music, just a little bit of everything. You can tell this is a band that just takes uh, kind of cues from every genre that they enjoy and they kind of mash it into one sound to create a really unique identity. There's nobody that really sounds like Nightlife, so this is a band I would definitely keep my eye out on and if you want a really fun song, you gotta listen to this EP and listen to the song Fall Back. It is such a catchy, fun song. It has so much groove and so much rhythm to it. It's a song that just gets stuck in your head. And this EP actually has a good amount of emotion on some of those slower tracks as well. So that is why it ended up making the list. It really impressed me and I cannot wait for a full album. 
Next up is Extrovert by Saint Asonia, clocking in at number two. Uh, I was ecstatic to hear this EP, to hear how much I liked it. I was just so surprised by it. Um, Introvert was an EP I enjoyed generally, although it's not one that I like really crave that much. It's not one that I, I felt inclined to have on repeat. I just thought it was a solid EP. But Extrovert, although I'm not crazy about every song on the EP, has a few songs that are truly, I think, in my opinion, the best songs that Saint Asonia has ever put out, especially um, Over It and then Break the Mold. Uh, those two tracks in particular, probably my two favorite Saint Asonia songs ever written, just to be honest. And then you have a song like Chasing the Light to end the EP, which is a very big epic send off for the EP. And yeah, it was just a riveting EP that I was surprised by. It felt like Adam had full confidence in his vocal capabilities. And I believe I heard in an interview with Adam that uh, I think some of the guys from Wage War maybe helped write some of the music, which is interesting because I've been blasting Wage War like crazy. So if that influence is, is something on this EP, I hope there's more of that moving forward because some of these songs feel truly like what Saint Asonia should set out to do. Again, those two tracks over it and break the mold, just absolutely stellar rock songs. And it's not too often we get hard rock tracks of that caliber, so it was just great to see them uh, hit so hard with this EP. Then at number one, we have Colorblind self-titled EP. I really wish they would have just came up with like five more songs, so this could have been an album. I feel like this would have been an incredibly strong debut album if they decided to go that route. But kind of like Until I Wake put out a really strong debut EP instead of an album, that is the route that Colorblind took with this EP. And man, it was good. Love is Red is still my most listened to song of the entire year, which was kind of surprising, but in hindsight, maybe not that surprising because I would just listen to the song over and over again, and somehow I'm still not sick of it. Kind of like Nightlife, Colorblind combines some of the best elements of different genres across the board. Uh, there's a nice fusion of like pop, maybe even a little bit of R&B and Colorblind's uh, sound, especially within the vocalist that gives them a really unique style. There's like a little bit of rock, maybe even a little bit of metalcore buried into their sound. There's just a lot of different influences. And with doing that, they created an EP that really has a unique identity, much like Nightlife. But also they created an EP that is very atmospheric. They use kind of subtle nuances in the instrumental, like electronic elements, synthy elements to really build up an atmosphere, especially on some of the more emotional tracks. I think Euphoria and Ghosts are prime examples of that, uh, kind of slower tracks with a ton of atmosphere. And they did a great job at displaying the emotion through the vocals and through the instrumental. And it's just an EP that has so much personality, so much style, but so much nuance and so much creativity. I just absolutely fell in love with it. And it is my number one EP of the year. Love is Red is one of my favorite songs of the year as well. I mean, I've listened to that song an unhealthy amount of times, just to be honest. So Colorblind, keep going. Can't wait to hear an album whenever you guys decide to put one out because this EP Man, it was just ridiculously good. Sorry if I sound a little bit under the weather in this video. I have a little bit of a sore throat and it has been a long morning, but thank you for bearing with me. Those were my top five EPs of 2022. Let me know what some of your favorite EPs were down in the comment section below. If you want to support the channel, give the video a like, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Link in the description for the Patreon and all of that good stuff if you're interested. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Rock on!